Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Cute Kittens and Puppies. When our feline friends express themselves, it can often seem like they are crying, especially when they emit sorrowful meows or appear to have watery eyes. Understanding this behavior is essential for any cat owner who wants to ensure their beloved companion's happiness and well-being. To begin with, it's important to clarify that when kitties cry, they don't shed tears in the same emotional sense humans do. While humans cry tears as an emotional response, the watery eyes seen in cats are usually related to their health. This can include reasons such as blockages in their tear ducts or the presence of irritants like dust or allergens. If you notice your feline's eyes are consistently watery or irritated, it's wise to consult a vet to rule out any medical issues. Now, addressing the vocal aspect of a cat's crying, the reasons behind it can be varied and fascinating. Mouses vocalize through meows, purrs, and other sounds which can convey a multitude of messages and emotions. A kitty might meow loudly when it's hungry, feels lonely, or is in distress. Young kittens often meow to alert their mother of their needs, but adult felines typically reserve their meows for communicating with humans, not with each other. This behavior is a testament to cats' adaptability and their ability to communicate with species other than their own. Loneliness or desire for attention can often cause kitties to cry. If your pussycat feels neglected or wants companionship, it might start meowing plaintively. These cries can tug at your heartstrings, seeming much like a human's emotional tears. Offering your pussycat more interactive playtime or even the company of another pet might help alleviate their loneliness. Another reason a kitty might meow plaintively is due to stress or anxiety. Changes in the environment, such as moving to a new home, the arrival of a new pet, or even rearranged furniture, can lead a sensitive mouser to feel uneasy and express this through vocalizations. Here, maintaining a stable environment or gradually acclimating your feline to new situations can mitigate their stress. Sometimes these vocalizations can indicate something more serious, such as pain or discomfort. As felines age, they may suffer from ailments like arthritis or internal discomforts that aren't visibly apparent. An increase in vocalization in this scenario could be your feline's way of telling you something is wrong. Regular checkups with the vet can ensure that any such issues are caught early and treated appropriately. Understanding the nuances of why kitties express themselves in seemingly sorrowful ways allows us to deepen our connection with these enigmatic companions. It prompts us to pay closer attention to the subtleties of their behavior and environment, ensuring we can respond effectively to their needs and emotions. As we continue to explore the reasons behind these behaviors, we uncover more about the complex emotional landscape of our feline friends, highlighting the depth of their personalities and the strong bonds we share with them. Continuing from our exploration into why kitties vocalize in ways that might be perceived as crying, it's also important to consider the effect of age and cognitive health on these behaviors. As moggies age, they may experience changes in their cognitive functions similar to humans. This can lead to confusion or disorientation, which kitties may express through increased vocalization, especially during times when they feel most vulnerable, such as at night. This phenomenon, often referred to as night calling, can be distressing not only for the feline, but also for the household. Providing a nightlight or some form of gentle reassurance can sometimes alleviate their distress. Moreover, the breeding cycle of an unspayed pussycat can bring about a range of vocal behaviors that can sound much like crying. During estrus, or the period when she is fertile, a female puss may vocalize excessively to attract a mate. This calling can be loud and is often mistaken for sounds of distress. The solution in such cases is usually spaying which not only prevents unwanted litters, but also typically reduces the frequency and intensity of such vocalizations. The breed of the pussycat can also influence how much and why it cries. Some breeds such as Siamese or Oriental are known for being more vocal than others. Owners of such breeds are often well aware that their pets use their voices as a primary means of expressing themselves, whether they're communicating hunger, dissatisfaction, or simply their presence in a room. Additionally, environmental factors play a significant role. A kitty's living conditions, such as the amount of space they have to explore, the type of entertainment available, and how often they interact with humans or other pets can influence their vocalizations. A mouser in a stimulating environment with plenty of play opportunities and interaction is less likely to feel the need to cry for attention compared to one that may be bored or isolated. The sounds that felines make are not just mere vocalizations. 
They are a complex form of communication. Each meow, purr, or hiss holds a plethora of information about their emotional and physical state. As attentive owners, understanding these cues not only helps in providing a better life for our furry companions, but also strengthens the interspecies communication that enriches the human-pet bond. By delving into the various reasons behind why our feline friends might cry, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of their emotional and communicative capabilities. This exploration not only enhances our understanding, but also ensures we remain attentive and responsive to the needs and well-being of our beloved kitties. As we continue to explore the depths of feline communication, it becomes clear that the context in which a kitty vocalizes is crucial for understanding its needs and feelings. For instance, changes in vocalization patterns can often be an early indicator of health issues. If a normally quiet mouser suddenly starts to cry frequently, this change in behavior warrants a closer examination to ensure there are no underlying health concerns. Behavioral training and adjustment are other aspects that can influence a feline's tendency to cry. Kitties are highly intelligent and can learn effective ways to communicate with their human companions. Sometimes excessive meowing might be inadvertently reinforced by owners who respond immediately to every vocalization. By adjusting how we respond to these cues, we can teach our kitties more appropriate ways to communicate their needs without resorting to what sounds like crying. For example, teaching a kitty to sit quietly before meals can help reduce plaintive meows around feeding time. The emotional state of a kitty can also lead to vocal expressions that sound like crying. Cats are sensitive creatures and can pick up on and mirror the stress or emotional state of their human households. A tense atmosphere can make a kitty feel uneasy, leading to more frequent and distressed meowing. Ensuring a calm and loving environment can help minimize anxiety-induced vocalizations. Finally, the unique personality of each kitty plays a significant role in how they express themselves. Just as humans have different ways of expressing needs and emotions, so do cats. Some might be more vocal and expressive, while others might be quieter and more reserved. Understanding and respecting these individual traits is key to nurturing a healthy and happy relationship with your pussycat. By paying close attention to the various factors that influence why kitties cry, owners can better cater to their feline friends' needs, ensuring they feel loved, understood, and well cared for. Each meow of vocalization is a part of the intricate language of cats, and with patience and observation, we can learn to understand and respond to this language effectively. This ongoing communication not only helps in managing and responding to their crying, but also deepens the bond between cat and owner, making the shared life journey a more harmonious and fulfilling experience for both. If you have any questions or would like to delve deeper into any other aspect of cat behavior or care, do not hesitate to ask. We are here to help you. If you think this information could benefit someone else, share it with your friends or on your social networks. Sharing is supportive and helps us reach more people. Thanks for watching and listening. Please subscribe to my channel, believe in yourself, and never give up on your dreams.